the children still few students have uh, some confusion so when solving the numericals based on the simple electric circuits especially calculating potential drop calculating terminal voltage calculating the current uh, through the resistors when they are contained parallel they have little bit of confusion so with this small video i'll try to clarify all the what are the doubts which you have related to such kind of diagrams such kind of circuits okay fine so first day children first question what they may ask you know for suppose here one ammeter is there okay they will ask you to calculate the reading of the ammeter means indirectly they are asking us to calculate the current but don't forget that so whenever we as we need to calculate the current you know you must calculate the total uh, what a resistance of the circuit total resistance when i say you should add the external resistance and you also should consider the internal resistance okay no, fine let us calculate children so first we are calculating the current in the circuit here r1 and r2 are in parallel so parallel resistance is going to be r1 into r2 by r1 plus r2 this will be 4 into 6 by 4 plus 6 this is going to be 2.4 ohm but the total resistance will be this resistance plus internal resistance this will be 2.4 plus 1.6 now the total resistance is going to be 4 ohm now we know that current is equal to emf by total resistance so emf is yes this is whatever is given emf this is internal resistance okay so this is 12 by 4 children so this will be 3 ampere so this is how we can calculate the current now the second point is that yes as 3 ampere current is coming like this let us say i1 current is flowing through this and i2 current is flowing through this okay then how to calculate the current in each resistor so second one digital we have that formula here i1 is equal to i r2 by r1 plus r2 so this will be current is equal to how much more here so current is equal to total current is 3 r2 6 by it is 10 so this is 18 by 10 as 18 by 10 is how much more it will be 1.8 ohm oh, sorry 1.8 ampere current is flowing through the uh, 4 ohm resistor so i2 is equal to i into r1 by it is r1 plus r2 so this will be 3 into r1 is uh, 4 by so it is 10 only this will be 12 by 10 this is going to be 1.2 ampere you can add these two again you'll get the total resistance now when it comes to the terminal voltage children very important terminal voltage terminal voltage so terminal voltage v is equal to i into only external resistance you should consider you should not consider internal resistance so external resistance is how much day children 2.4 only so it will be 3 into 2.4 so this is going to be how much 3 4 is a 12 3 2 is a 6 7 7.2 volts then how to calculate the uh, potential drop potential drop potential drop children total current into internal resistance only internal resistance only so that is current is 3 and this is 1.6 this will be 3 6 is a 18 this is 4.8 this is a old now you can see if you can add these two terminal voltage plus potential drop you must get a emf that is how you can cross check are you able to see more yes so this is how we can solve and here, here you may get a one doubt sir here both are connected in parallel what if if the two resistors are connected in series children when the resistors are connected in series they may ask you to calculate the uh, potential difference across each resistor just copy this i'll try to include that also okay now hope it is copied three two one okay now same question just little bit i will change now little bit i will change okay same question same resistors so means of course entire numerical will change more so let us say this is 4 ohm is a r1 only and uh, wait 6 ohm it is r2 so this will be battery okay this is how it is given so 
so plus minus okay now let me erase this okay now current everything will change ma because the resistance changes you know everything will change look at here so let us say here here some ammeter is here and at 10 now let us say here uh, some 2 ohm is internal resistance and 12 volt is this one okay now children to calculate the current as it will be that now these are in series right okay so in series so rs is equal to r1 plus r2 this is going to be 4 plus 6 this will be 10 ohm now total resistance i want means rs plus internal resistance that is 10 plus 2 this is going to be a 12 ohm now current if you want right current is equal to emf by total resistance this is 12 by 12 this will be 1 ampere current okay fine now children so here emf is 12 volt now potential difference across this is v1 let us say across this is v2 then how to calculate a v1 and v2 children here v1 is equal to v into r1 by r1 plus r2 so this you consider as a v now look at here 12 into r1 is 4 by r1 plus what is a 10 so this will be 48 by 10 so this will be 4.8 volt across the r1 resistor let us calculate v2 also v into r2 by r1 plus r2 the children even directly from this you can subtract this you will get this but i am showing you look at here so v is a 12 r2 is a 6 by uh, 10 because uh, 4 plus 6 is 10 right so this will be 72 by 10 so this is going to be 7.2 and now you can add you will get the same thing you will get the same thing so this is how we can calculate okay now is the point clear so don't get confused ma i repeat once again to calculate the terminal voltage total current into external resistance only to calculate the potential drop current into internal resistance only so these uh, points should be in your mind so that you don't have a uh, any confusion just copy this okay so children this is a very short video hope you got a clarity uh, to calculate the uh, total current uh, terminal voltage and potential drop and the currents in the uh, resistors when they are connected in parallel and the potential difference across the resistors when they are connected in a series okay children Thank you so much. All the very best.